So I ran out of fuel and my car went into neutral. I can't do anything besides brake and now I can't even move. What's up everybody? It's your boy Rishraf and today we got the car fuel system. The long awaited car fuel system is finally here. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I went ahead and created a website. Uh, it's called Limitless Gamer. The link to it will be in the description below. A little disclaimer, this gas system only works with a chassis. So what we're gonna be doing right here is get the, I'm using the AC 6.52 uh, S2 in spare one. So I'm going to be using this chassis. Uh, as you can see earlier, I imported a gauge when I was talking. Uh, we won't focus about that right now. So I've been working with InSpare directly um, and indirectly for developing one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just test this chassis out. All right, so we're in here and we're gonna go ahead and test it out. Uh, just make sure everything works. We get the UI. Okay, we can drive it, sounds good. In your A chassis, you're gonna go and find a folder called plugins. You'll notice how it has the default, uh, the camera, stock sound, all that. What we're gonna wanna do is add our very own plugin and everything will be in the description. Just a little note, I hope you guys are still watching the video. Uh, let's go ahead and call this fuel, just fuel, nothing else. So inside of the script, you're gonna have the settings for your car fuel system. So I'm gonna go ahead and just call this settings for fuel system. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say local quantity. So what quantity allows us to do is measure how much fuel we want in our tank. So for certain things, right? So for quantity, let's just say we want one gallon in our tank. Then we want minimum BSFC. This is just fuel consumption. Um, there's a lot of mathematics when it comes to calculating uh, fuel, and this is why um, it's very hard to develop. Um, sorry, I have not been using my PC for quite a bit now. I'm using a different one right now. Uh, I had to get a storage map app, and then I'm finding it. Basically, there's something wrong with the hard drive. It's not corrupted or anything, but one file in there uh, which I have to go ahead and take a look at is making the finder uh, not being able to open. So I'm just creating these variables right here. Um, fuel density, so what this is, is it's like this fuel system is so advanced, it's so OP. So this right here, the fuel density is in real life, it's seven point, well, converted from real life, 749.749 is for regular unleaded gasoline. And what you wanna do, this is regular petrol. So what you wanna do is change this. I've been using C sharp. What you wanna do this is change this to 0 0.85 for diesel. And for diesel fuel, like trucks and stuff, that can change your fuel density. This will not cover how to fill fuel inside of your vehicle. I would do that if this uh, video gets, let's get this video up to like, 100 likes. If we can get it up to 100 likes, everybody, I'll add a way for you guys to fill fuel in your car. Average MPG time, this, you're gonna leave this at 60. You're gonna say local A chassis kit version equals one. This is internal. We're gonna say local studs per mile equals 6336. Now, it is important that you watch this video. You can just be like, well, Rishraf, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, do not edit. Well, Rishraf, you know, I can just copy your script and I can go and I can go in the place below in the description and do it myself. Yes, but then you won't know how it works. And then that's basically just using a free model. This video, if you watch the whole thing, it shows you how it works. And then that way you can modify it because you can't just have the same fuel system as every, um, as every game. So right here, You'll notice it's a script.parent and script.gauge. It didn't auto-complete because I don't have gauge as a as a little child. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little insert an object. I'm actually not going to I'm gonna go ahead and insert an event here. It's gonna be called a remote event. 
and this will register to the server that we have our fuel in there. And then I'm going to go ahead myself and drag the gauge into as a child of not of event as fuel right here. So these two are two separate children of fuel. So fuel technically has two children now and we're almost done with our with our script here with our variables and we're going to say local event equals car wait for child make sure you guys get the spelling right uh, I'm going to use this event fuel event so you'll notice how we don't have something called fuel event so let's go and rename this fuel event and it's very important before you guys are like this doesn't work well if you values and then we're going to say well Honestly, if you watch this whole video, then it will work and you'll you'll know what you did wrong. So values dot horsepower. This will all get changed once the uh, nothing is auto completing because it will all get dragged to the vehicle because it's a plugin and it sees it as a plugin. So nothing is going to auto complete. So you have to be careful to spell everything. Highly recommend you follow along with me. <clears throat> then again, taking the script, you don't actually learn anything. And yeah. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and say chassis tune right here. Okay, so we're almost done. Actually, we're about halfway. There's about 117 lines in here. Uh, but that's with comments and stuff in my notes. So uh, this is all real-time fuel, real-time. This is all like server stuff right here. Just local fuel equals zero. And then local MPG data. We're using that local camel case is that. And we'll say local last entry. This is so that way we can get the last inputs and we can calculate it. And then we'll say local delta for the time. And that's all for real-time inputs. We got through that one really fast. So. For the gauge, I think the gauge is pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna go and leave a comment here. We'll say gauge, uh, of course I spelled it wrong. Let's say gauge, not gauge, or gauze, I don't know. Let's say do, and it should auto-complete an end. We'll say ga gauge, oh, hold on. GUI, we'll say gauge. So this is mathematics right here, so I don't know why I keep saying, I am I keep spelling it wrong? I keep spelling it wrong. Okay. So hold on. I spelt it wrong. It's A U G. That's why. Okay, script dot gouge. I don't I don't know why I keep saying it like that. So what we'll do is we'll say G A U G E. And we'll say one four. And then what we'll do is we'll say dot text equals quantity. My spelling is just so off because I'm not used to this laptop that I'm using. Then again, if you guys want to go and support my channel, feel free to buy something from my website. Link below in the description. It comes with the refund policy and all that, so you guys know it's legit. And we're going to say gauge. And then we're just basically dividing it at this point. So uh, we're going to we're gonna break it up into fourths. So we're going to say three out of four. And then we're going to say dot text this is so we can you you guys saw it earlier in the video 0.75 this is just division and stuff and this is getting into a fraction and then L right there so that's it for that we just have one more say wait say gauge and then we just need the one to localize that as one whole text equals quantity dot dot space L awesome that's it for that do and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say local function lerp this is some advanced stuff um, kind of why it took like over a month to get this um, to get the fuel system ready to go so this is all the, the calculations for the UI it's not a matter of fact of knowing how to do the fuel system it's a matter of fact of noticing and knowing the math of how to do it and not trying to brag but like I have not seen I've been searching for a while because before I started coding 
how to do a fuel system. Min, and I couldn't find any because I don't think any YouTuber is capable. And if you see another one after my upload date, just know it's a fake. It's not fake, but it's copied. It's definitely copied. So I actually don't want to write the rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this and then I'm going to go and paste it in here. Okay, nice. So this is all ready to go. And this is basically how to set up the fuel system. All you have to do is save this to Roblox and then you'll be able to so when you get my place, what you're going to do is you're going to find it and you're going to save it to yourself or you can copy and paste it in any up to date a chassis car because I cannot guarantee this will work in another uh, vehicle that is not a chassis. It won't work because it's not programmed to read a plugin. Then what you're going to do is you need another script and you're going to go into here. This one, I want to call it handler. This one's only 20 lines of code. So let's go and knock this out. This is very important. So this right here, this fuel thing needs to match your quantity. Uh, I'm going to go and leave a little comment. Uh, must match max fuel. Otherwise, you'll just glitch it out and it won't be re readily readable, I should say. So this needs to match. So for this instance, I'm going to use one and then one. And then I'll say local car equals script dot parent dot parent. And it'll say local fuel equals car find first child and we'll find the first child uh, fuel uh, make sure it's a capital and we'll say fuel or instance dot new uh, number value let's go and find that we'll say car awesome awesome and then we'll say fuel dot name equals and you guessed it fuel uh, with the capital and then we'll say fuel dot value equals max fuel and then we're already at the eighth line we'll say script dot parent equal Ooh, nope we'll say on server because this is where the event comes in you can easily make one you can easily make a um a car that has fuel you can you just make it you know per miles driven uh minus the gas create something called gas but then it won't be over the server. Fuel dot value. I don't know if you can hear my computer fans. That's why I'm trying to like get a better one. Equals fuel dot value minus amount. Yeah, so if you guys could so help me out, um, that'd be awesome. And we'll say else script dot parent fire client. Not fire all, we'll just do fire client. We're gonna say PLR fuel dot value right here. And then one little last thing, we're gonna go to line 16, we're saying when the fuel is changed, so fuel.changed, connect, we're gonna create a function in here, and we'll say val. If you felt like I was going kind of fast, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comments because I know, I think a lot of you are just going to just get the, are not gonna watch the whole video and you guys are basically just going to um, take the model. And we'll say fire client, even though it's not auto completing, I know it's going to work. Get player from character. And then we'll do car drive seat. It's not going to auto complete because it can't recognize it yes, yet. And we'll say fuel value. Done. 20 lines just knocked out. Now let's go ahead and test this. Uh, let's make sure handler is a child, the gauge is in there. So what I did was I put in the original script that I had in here and then what I'm gonna do is I changed my quality to 0.5 and then max fuel to 0.5. And then by the way guys, um, if you guys are still watching right now, which I hope you are, you can just also go to your toolbox uh, that I'm gonna delete that what I just did right now and you can go here and you can find my plugin right here for the eight chassis you can go ahead and find it and drag it to your car's plugins. And then you can go ahead and test it out by pressing the test. Sorry for any background noise of the computer fans. Then you can go in here. And then once we're in here, we can go in. You see our fuel right there. We got a little bit of consumption because the vehicle is on. And now we're just going to drive. Now, for all of you who are like, well, what if it's not server-based? Watch, we're at about 0.375 liters. 
I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna get back in. And then I it still stays there. So it's it replicates, and if another player gets in, they will see that it's at the same value. So let's get this to a hundred likes, everybody, and then we will be able to uh, move on. We'll get the uh, filling the car, and then we'll also get the uh, door lock system. We will definitely get that in. So I ran out of fuel, and my car went into neutral. I can't do anything besides brake, and now I can't even move. So yeah, now I'm out of fuel. And then you guys can always adjust it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Thank you, and I hope you guys have a great day. Check out my website. Please support me. I'm trying to get a new computer. I'm trying to save some money, you know what I mean? And I hope you guys stay safe during this quarantine. Comment below. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you use this. And have a great time coding, everybody. Thank you. Peace.